Why does Bongbong Marcos get so much support? Good morning. Welcome to Jaime Lamberang TV. Bakit ba? Bakit ba naging popular si Bongbong Marcos? Well, according to majority of the supporters, Bongbong Marcos lang ang sinsiro, mapanawi at pagod na ang mga Filipinos. Sa politika sa Filipinas na nakarang 30 years after the people power revolution. People are saying that nothing has changed. The poor were still poor. The rich were still in power and corruption, among other things, was still much part of the government. Someone said that uh, we have been fighting against the Marcos's family for years, pero wala namang nabago o na improved sa kabuhayan ng mga tao or the general public. Kung talagang nagnakaw ang mga Marcos, bakit wala rin nakulong sa kanila? In an attempt to convince them to abandon their support by stating the fact that the late dictator and his wife have looted billions of pesos from public funds and their family, including Marcos Jr. Still likely benefits from these funds, but para sa akin mahirap paniwalaan kung kaya mara, marami ang disagree. Kasi daw all politicians are corrupt. Anyway, majority sa mga Marcos supporters are those under 30. Voters who were not born when his father imposed nationwide martial law and presided over human rights violations, corruption, and uh, probably a massive economic slowdown. Pero itong si Bongbong Marcos, alam niya kung saan matagpuan ang mga supporters niya. Ang kanyang team ay nakatutok sa millions of users on social media, especially sa TikTok and Facebook both inside the Philippines and abroad. Sabik ang mga supporters ni Bongbong Marcos, he's a person with a heart. Sa lahat ng kanyang mga campaign and rallies, di talaga siya nag- nagsasaw at tumatawa sa mga kapwa kandidato. Siya lang din ang hindi nang mira ng kapwa presidentials. Marcos Jr.'s 2022 presidential campaign advocates unity. Kaya napakagandang pakinggan kung kasali ka sa unity. It is, you know, it is a means of lifting the country from economic slowdown of the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite this message, he has become the most divisive candidate in the race. Political opponents decry the human rights violations during his father's dictatorships, but the billions you know, billions of dollars in ill-gotten wealth and the families unpaid taxes. They also point out that Imelda Marcos has managed to avoid jail despite being convicted of graft. Pero marami pa din ang sumuporta sa kanya. Kagaya namin dito sa aming probinsya, tatlong kampo ang nakasupport lahat kay Bongbong Marcos. For those who did not experience his father's regime, the younger Marcos appears to offer a refreshing choice, lalong lalot na hindi talaga nararanasan ang pag-ahon sa kahirapan sa sambayanan Pilipino. Napaka-weak ng infrastructure natin sa mga nakaraang presidente at mas lalong naging malala ang korupsyon. Hindi talaga nasolusyonan ang nakaraang sa nakaraang administrasyon sa Pilipinas matapos ang People Power Revolution. Ito pa naman ang dreams ng mga tao na makaahon sa hirap. But they did not feel it. Kaya mas mainam na suportahan ang anak ng former dictator lalong lalot sa kanyang ama na experience sa Pilipinas ang napakaraming infrastruktura na nakikita talaga. Nakikita at na-appreciate sa buong Asia 
ang Pilipinas dati. You know, Bumbong Marcos Jr.'s opponents repeatedly bring up his father's legacy but according to political experts, that is backfiring now. Many Filipino people are voting for Marcos. Hindi ibig sabihin na, na gusto nila talaga ang mga ginawa nung namatandang Marcos. They just don't like being told and being treated as bad people. Isa yun sa mga dahilan kung ayaw sa mga tao, yung mga politiko na puro paninira lang ang ginawa. Ang mga butante ngayon naniniwala na si Bumbong Marcos lang ang makapagpatuloy sa mga nagawa na legasya ni President Rodrigo Duterte. A great leader doesn't need influence someone with hate. Si Bumbong Marcos lang ang nagpromise na gawing united ang buong bansa habang ipagpatuloy ang mga magandang proyekto na naumpisahan ni Pangulong Duterte. Dito din ang mga positive ng mga mensahe na makikita mo ni Bongbong Marcos sa mga news feed niya sa social media platforms. He has over 1.2 million followers on TikTok, around 2 million subscribers on YouTube, and another 5.3 million followers on Facebook. According to Fatima Gao, Assistant Professor of Communication Research at the University of the Philippines, it is almost impossible to distinguish between propaganda and genuine support on such platforms. But Bongbong Marcos Jr. benefits from an existing power base in the northern provinces. Matagal silang sikat doon. He entered politics for the first time in his home province of Ilocos Norte in 1981 as a 23-year-old vice governor. Nakuha din niya yung suporta sa mga nakapaligid ni Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio na napaka-popular sa Visayas at Mindanao. Whether or not Bongbong Marcos will be like his father if he is elected president, sabi ng mga experts, malayo ang tsansa na maging katulad sa kanyang ama ang naging or ang maging diktador si Bongbong Marcos. Isa-isahin nating pag-usapan ng mga positibong pananaw ng ating mga kababayan dito sa ating channel. If you stayed because you can relate to what I have shared with you, please like and share this video and subscribe so that we can create more like this before the election comes. Thank you. Tingin ko, baka bukang tapos ng eleksyon. May bago na tayong presidente. Salamat po sa kagalakan ng pagtanggap ninyo sa amin sa araw na ito. Kahit na balibalik ka rin natin ang mga pangyayari, kahit na mag-iiyak pa kayo, wala nang mangyayari. Maliwanag pa sa sikat ng araw si Bongbong Marcos at si Inday Sara Duterte.